Bismillahirrohmanirrohim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh We are from group 7 And today we are going to talk about Exploring characteristic for effective EFL teacher From the perception of junior high school student in Taiwan By Yu Yong Chen Si Chong Lin So let's begin our materi today Hi, my name is Ananda Salsabila Ramadhani And I'm as the first speaker So the first Teachers are those who convey the third pass on knowledge and clarify the doubts, say it confused. Teachers who take on this belief, however, report that just conveying knowledge doesn't make the teacher as a good one. Dewey, in uh, 1933, described an effective teacher as not only a person who convey knowledge to the student, but also an artist who practices divinations of what is good or bad, as well as what is uh, right or wrong. Uh, the purpose of this study, effective teachers, refers to teachers who are considered good or helpful for a student's learning. The Minister of Education in Taiwan described that decades ago, being an effective teacher was confined in expertise in knowledge. But at present time, at present time, uh, an effective or good teacher is uh, expected to hold many personal traits. The most important qualities for effective teaching and reported that being approachable, creative, and interesting. And also uh, encouraging and caring, enthusiastic, flexible, and open-minded, uh, knowledgeable, fair, respect respectful, and holding real realistic expectations are the aid of the top 10 traits. Students indicated the key teacher's quality components were caring, uh, were caring for students in their learning, having professional knowledge, teaching skills and verbal skills and dedication to teaching broke report that foreign language teachers are distinctive in the nature of the subject in the teaching contained and methodology the interaction between the teacher and the student and the issue about being native or non-native Teachers who teach English as foreign language or EFL in Taiwan are not only foreign teachers or native speakers, but also Taiwanese teachers or non-native speakers who have taken certain amount of English uh, language training. Native English teachers, though may be more fluent in English language, may not be seen as effective teachers from students' perspective. On the other hand, Taiwanese teachers who acquire certain characteristics may be considered as effective English teachers, even in their English uh, proficiency is not perfect. In this case, the characteristic of effective EFL teachers cannot be uh, defined by the teachers nationally or native language only. Bruce in 1996 report that those are those who are considered as effective language teachers usually teach comprehensively, master or common the language, make lesson interesting, help students with their independent study, and do not discriminate among students. Penner in 1992 indicated that effective language teaching lies in the growth and improve. Uh, improvement of classroom communication. An effective language teacher should have adequate, adequately ability to communicate to the student. This study intended to investigate the characteristic of effect of effective EFL teachers from junior high school students' perspective. As with the present day, most students are randomly uh, assigned in all classes rather than grouped by their ability in Taiwan. Therefore, heterogeneous classes are expected for most English teachers at junior high schools. Very few studies, however, uh, have emphasis on how students with different academic achievement perceive the characteristic of effective teachers. Thus, this study also attempted to compare and contrast the perspective between male and female students as well as the per 
the perceptions among students with high, middle, and low academic achievement, and determine if gender or academic achievement has been affected on how students uh, perceive, perceive their English teacher. And next, little literature review. First is characteristic of effective teachers. Learning is on learning is not only a cognitive work but also an effective work. Uh, Wallet in 1997 indicated that individual differences in academic performance cannot be uh, explained as slowly the result of difference in generally ability but appears as uh, the product the product um, of complex and dynamic interaction interaction between cognitive affective and uh, motivational variables teacher as mediators of the classes play influential role on both cognitive and affective aspect of students learning characteristic report in previous studies can be uh, synthesized into three categories instructional competence personality and teachers and teacher student relationship instructional competence result of the factors analyzed suggest that teachers competency was the most important characteristic for an ideal teacher uh, which are in 2003 conducted a quali uh, qualitative study with college students and report that instructional competence such as providing student-centered instruction, having educated a knowledge about the subject matter and being professional were the most important characteristic for effective teachers. The next is a uh, personality. Jenin in 1987 uh, interviewed a sixth grade students to find out student perception of effective teachers. She reported that personality such as being patient, sweet, and understanding is what constitutes as a nice teacher. Uh, Exoy in 1998 uh, investigated elementary students' perception and reported that an effective teacher is kind, friendly, honest, tolerant, helpful, patient, and seldom shows uh, nervousness and anger. More uh, recently, Murphy in 2004 described in a qualitative study with elementary student, uh, elementary school, Jujang Chen Si Chang, uh, exploring a characteristic for effective EFL teacher from uh, the perception of junior high school student in Taiwan. Uh, there are uh, 227 students as well as pre-service and in-service teachers that are being caring, patient, polite, uh, and amiable, not being boring, shy, or strict, uh, strict uh, are the characteristic for effective teachers. Next is teacher-student relationship. Teachers' uh, personality is highly uh, associated with established teacher-student relationship. Davis in 20, uh, 2001 uh, impulsed on the relationship between students and teachers at, and claimed that uh, this kind of social motivation can promote students' learning and achievement. Other Taiwanese uh, researchers how in 2001 also report that student perception of the relationship with a their teacher will affect teachers uh, classroom management and students performance the participants in most previous studies however are however more mostly college student and elementary school students uh, secondary schools such as junior high school students uh, perception were eliminated eliminate and demand more attention the last is characteristic of effective language teachers the result of bells in uh, 1996 survey studies indicate that those teachers who are uh, recognized as effective teachers often adopt communicative uh, theories of origin language teaching uh, assign small group work for uh, nego negotiation of meaning uh, and instruct, uh, instruct selected strategies for foreign language learning. Uh, cooperation uh, between students and teachers, such as 
uh, asking question for clarify clarification, providing feedback, requesting for teacher to paraphrase, uh, explaining and repeat is a very important for language learning. Social effective strategies in this case uh, facilitated uh, the social uh, mediating activity and help with uh, teacher students uh, instruction for language uh, for language teacher there may be even more characteristic for effective teaching nevertheless not enough research has been uh, discussing characteristic for effective english teacher especially in Tai in taiwan so uh, the next material will be explained by my friend warahmatullahi wabarakatuh my name is wilder rufliha jadi uh, saya akan melanjutkan materi pada saat ini yaitu tentang uh, metode atau metode nah di metode Ini ada uh, empat poin yang harus di uh, apa? Yang harus diperhatikan dan yang harus ada di metode tersebut. Yang pertama itu ada uh, research design dan uh, yang kedua ada participants, yang ketiga ada instrumen dan yang keempat itu ada data analisis. Nah, di research design itu uh, perlu kita ketahui uh, apa sih itu research design. Nah. Uh, research design itu adalah sebuah rencana prosedur yang uh, menjadi panduan peneliti untuk menjawab semua pertanyaan uh, peneliti secara valid, objektif, uh, akurat, dan ekonomis. Adapun tujuan dari uh, research design tersebut yaitu untuk uh, mengidentifikasi dan membandingkan uh, persepsi dari siswa tentang prestasi akademik eh, yang eh, akademik yang berbeda di sekolah eh, yang akan diteliti. Oke, okay, di poin yang kedua itu ada participants. Participants atau yang memiliki arti peserta eh, di dalam proses meneliti participants atau peserta ini sangatlah memiliki peran penting di dalam sebuah eh, laporan penelitian tersebut. Poin yang ketiga ini ada instrumen. Instrumen eh, ini memiliki dua sumber eh, utama dalam eh, data penelitian. Yang pertama itu ada language teacher characteristic question questionnaire dan yang kedua ada mit terms a uh, great report in english nah di uh, quiz, di language teacher characteristic questionnaire ini peneliti ini diadaptasikan uh, dari karakteristik guru huang pada tahun 2004 dan karakteristik guru bahasa bros uh, di uh, tahun 1996 nah selain itu informasi demografis dan karakteris eh demografis Ada 50 item yang uh, disusun menjadi tiga kategori. Tiga kategori utama muncul dari literatur. Yang poin pertama itu ada kompetensi instruksional yang dibagi menjadi 12 item. Dan yang kedua adalah kepribadian yang memiliki 14 item. Dan yang ketiga uh, hubungan guru dan murid yang memiliki 15 item nah peserta diminta uh, melaporkan per, eh, persepsi mereka tentang ke karakteristik guru yang guru yang efektif dalam uh, guru yang aktif yang efektif pada skala 4 poin yang pertama yang poin pertama itu ada uh, as not important at all Poin kedua ada as, as not important Poin ketiga as important And the last point ada as very important Nah Di sini uh, Item yang menerima skor lebih tinggi dari tiga uh, Akan menyatakan bahwa karakteristik guru itu penting tentang menjadi seorang guru yang efektif yang kedua itu ada midterms grade 
great report in English. Karena uh, keterbatasan waktu dan pen- eh, kesulitan memperoleh transkrip nilai lengkap semester, tingkat pencapaian siswa ya, diidentifikasi berdasarkan semester me- mereka nilai di kelas bahasa Inggris. Uh, ujian tengah semester adalah menjum- menyumbang peser- eh, persentase besar dari presentasi akademik siswa. Dengan demikian membuat laporan eh, membuat laporan nilai tengah semester sebagai ukuran yang dapat diterima eh, mem- yang dapat diterima membedakan prestasi akademik siswa. Namun eh, kendala ini dapat menghambat in- eh, interpretasi dan generalisasi hasil penelitian ini. Nah, untuk di poin yang terakhir uh, yaitu data analisis. Nah, data analisis adalah cara untuk mengelola data menjadi informasi sehingga karakteristik data tersebut bisa dipahami dan bermanfaat untuk solusi permasalahan yang berkaitan dengan penelitian kita. Mungkin itu saja uh, penjelasan dari saya. Uh, Insya Allah akan eh, materi selanjutnya akan dilanjutkan oleh rekan saya. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Oke, okay. my name is Charles and I will de- explain the results of this research. Okay. The first is characteristics of effective English teachers. The first research question investigated students' general perceptions. in terms of what were considered important to be an effective English teacher. There are three categories of characteristic of an effective English teacher. They are instructional competence, personality, and teacher-students relationship. The teacher-students relationship category received a higher uh, means higher mean score. than other uh, categories. It indicates that these aspects were all important to be an effective English teacher. However, personality and teacher-student relationship received slightly higher scores than instructional competence, suggesting that through inst- instructional competence was an important factor, but personality and teacher-student students relationship may be considered even more important okay. when each category was further examined in details in the instructional competence section the only item considered as important by 90% of the students was gives just enough homework however in the personality category more than 90% of students consider the following characteristics characteristic were important to be an effective English teacher being friendly being open-minded being earnest in teaching being confident being humorous being ethnic et- ethical being emotionally stable uh, being attentive to his or her appearance and dressing simply and modestly In the teacher students relationship category, the items were considered important by more than 90% of the students include respecting students, caring about students, listening to and understand students' needs, asking questions and encouraging students to ask, to ask questions, being sensitive to students' problems, praising students often, and participating in students activities and showing expectation and showing expectations and on students and cautioning students in time okay and the second is gender difference the second research question attempt to examine the gender difference on students uh, perceptions of english teacher characteristics Generally, female students rate higher than male students in all three categories. The analysis by the independent test on the three categories between male and female students yield two significant 
differences. Through no significant differences was found in the instructional competence. Significant differences were found in personality and, and teacher-student uh, relationship. Female students perceived a teacher's personality and the relationship between the teacher and students more important for effective teaching than male students. Similar difference, difference was found in the ranking of the most important characteristic of effective teachers. For male students, the top three important characteristics were being enthusiastic in teaching, respecting students, and teaching interestingly and actively. Whereas for female students, they were being open-minded, being friendly, and being enthusiastic in teaching. The three top rated items for female students were all characteristic about teacher personality. Interestingly, the characteristic that received lowest rating were alike were alike. For the male students, the three lowest rating characteristics were giving test often, emphasizing on academic achievement and often conducting the lesson in English. The lowest two were the same for female students, but the female students also dislike English teachers who give easy tests. The last is perception among different academic achievers. Because different methods were taken for the class assignment of the first two graders and the third graders in the school, the analysis of the third research question, what are the differences between the perception of low, middle, and uh, high achievers in junior high school in terms of characteristic of effective English teachers. Okay, so uh, this part uh, will uh, this part is the uh, answer of the third uh, question of this uh, research. That is, what are the differences between the perception of low, middle, and high achievers in junior high school in terms of characteristic of effective English teachers? First and second graders. Generally speaking, for the first and second graders, high achievers rated slightly higher than middle achievers and low achievers in all three categories. There are instructional competence, personality, and teacher-student relationship. High achievers emphasize teacher characteristics that associated with learning strategies such as applying daily experience and providing practical examples. Middle achievers care much on appropriate amount of homework with practice and feedbacks, and low achievers prefer characteristics, characteristics of that motivate learning such as providing interesting and active instruction. For more detail, I will uh, explain the top and the bottom ranking of instructional competence characteristic among three achievement level students. students. Uh, the top ranking of instructional competence characteristic in uh, high uh, on for uh, high uh, achievers are uh, applies daily experience in learning learning gives practical examples and maintains disciplines in class, whereas the bottom ranking are emphasis on academic achievement, give easy tests, and assigns only little or no homework. For uh, middle achievers, the top ranking of instructional competence characteristics are gives practical examples, uh, gives just enough uh, homework, and provides practice and feedbacks whereas the the bottom ranking are gives test often uh, emphasize on academic achievement and often conduct the lesson in English uh, for low uh, achiever uh, the top ranking are uh, teaches teach teaches uh, in Interestingly and actively, uh, as assigns only little or no homework, uh, is 
knowledgeable and is knowledgeable and for the uh, and the top uh, and the bottom ranking are gifts test often emphasize on academic achievement and maintains disciplines and in class okay and next uh, i will uh, explain uh, the top and the bottom ranking of personality characteristic among three achievement level students for high achievers uh, the top uh, ranking of personality characteristic are uh, is emotional emotionally stable stable uh, is enthusiastic in teaching and is ethical Whereas the bottom ranking are okay, the bottom ranking uh, are is fashionable, dressed simply and modestly, and is energetic and athletic. For a middle achiever, the top ranking of personality characteristics are is open mind, is friendly, and is enthusiastic in teaching. Whereas the uh, bottom ranking are is fashionable dresses simply and modestly and, and is energe energetic and athletic and for low uh, achievers the top uh, ranking of personality characteristic are is energetic and athletic uh, is open mind and is emotionally stable whereas the bottom ranking are is fashionable dresses simply and modestly and is humorous The third grade graders. The third grade students were in ability grouping classes. As a result, high achievers in the level in A level class classes were expected to concent concentrate more in preparing the senior high school entrance examination examination and were under more academic pressure than those low achievers in B level classes. Low achievers seem to generally rate the importance of each teacher characteristic lower than high achievers. Nevertheless, among the three categories, personality and teacher-student relationship still received higher rating than instructional competence characteristic characteristics from the low achievers. I think uh, that's all for me. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am Desi Puspasari Perti, and I would like to deliver the last material, which is discussion. Discussion. The purpose of this study was to investigate junior high school students' perceptions of the characteristics of if effective English teachers. Three major focus, focuses of this study include students' general perception, the gender difference on students' percep perceptions, and whether students with different academic achievements perceive differently. The first is general perception. Students emphasize teachers' instructional competence to a certain level but the result of this study indicate slightly higher importance on personality and teacher-student relationship. This result is consi consistent to several previous, previous studies. The top five characteristics of effective English teachers from students' responses are similar to Huang's 2004 findings. In both Huang's and this study, students revealed their expectation toward being respected and cared by their English teachers. And they mostly emphasized that an effective English teacher should be en enthusiastic in teaching. Moreover, the result of this study indicates that respecting its students is important for effective English teachers which is consistent with 
that Lee Marling, 2006, suggestion that mutual respect is indis indispensable to be a good teacher. Similar perspective were pointed out by Burke, 2006, who indicated that language teachers are required to have particular traits such as having sense of humor, being creative, a flexible actor type, motivating, enthusiastic, being able to communicate freely, and radiating positive feelings. Burke also suggested that the relationship between the language teacher and students is important because there is more communication between teacher and students in language teaching. It seems that Huang's and Brooks' studies as well as the result of this study suggested that good relationship between teachers and students is an essential factor to be an effective English teacher. The second is gender difference. The result of this study indicate that male and female students consider the importance of effective teacher characteristics differently in terms of personality and teacher-student relationship. In this study, female students perceive English teacher's personality and teacher-student relationship as more important characteristic than male students did. A possible explanation may be that in classroom interaction, female students are generally more sensitive to or easier, easier to be influenced by their teachers' personalities and emotions, and turn in, and in turn, expect their teachers to be friendly, emotionally stable, humorous, considerate, open-minded, and so on. These personality characteristics are often be considered as the basic characteristics that help develop good interpersonal relationship. Unlike female students, male students show it much care and concern about their dignity and face saving and believe that effective teachers should respect the students. This result is accordance with Huang's 2004 finding that respect students was the one was the top one characteristic for effective teacher teachers in teacher student relationship category. The third is a difference among achievers of three levels. Although significant variance only uh, was only found in the teacher student relationship category among tier three level three levels of achievers the comparison of the ranking may yield some insight in instructional competence category while high achievers considered maintaining discipline disciplines in class important Middle achievers seems to be more passive in learning and expect English teachers to provide more practices and feedbacks. As for low achievers, they prefer teachers who provide interesting and active instruction to and give little homework. The findings might illustrate the different expectation to English teachers due to the different goals of the achievers. The relationship between teachers and students was considered more important for high achievers than low achievers. The possible explanation may be that high achievers view English teacher as a person who has abundant, abundant and knowledge and they prefer to establish close relationship with them so as to motivate their learning. Conclusion and future research. Despite our language focused characteristics, being enthusiastic in teaching is the most important characteristic for effective English teachers. Cortagan 2004
proposed six levels that include mission, identity, belief, competencies, behaviors, and environment to be effective teachers. The awareness of mission to be an effective English teacher is the first step. As an old proverb stated, nothing great was ever achieved without enthusiasm. Therefore, an effective English teacher should try to maintain their love of their work and to be and to be enthusiastic in teaching. Moreover, as reported in this study, students with different background and academic achievement may perceive differently and characteristics of effective English teachers, indicating students' different needs and expectations from their English teachers. Thus, when designing lesson or when providing instruction, effective English teachers should take students' gender, gender, gender as well as academic achievement into, into consideration. Let's let's but the least because personality and teacher uh, student relationship were much emphasized in terms of effective teaching and learning. English teachers should also develop a caring relationship with students and provide opportunities to interact and communicate with students. As Bruce nineteen ninety six suggest that effective language teacher will pay attention to teacher-student interaction and teacher-student relationship because teaching and learning is a communication process. I think that's all. Thank you.